So hello everyone, this is a done deal. A few days ago, I posted this PC on eBay. I won't say to my greatest surprise because it's a Fujitsu Esprimo PC and this is one PC I know will sell. I've sold this PC long enough to know when it's gonna sell and the customer wanted a one terabyte SSD as well as a one terabyte hard drive. When I bought this PC for 10 euros a few days back, it came with a 500 gigabyte hard drive. This would not be interesting to us at the moment because the customer specified that I wanted something uh, really fast and I kind of proposed that yes an SSD in this case would be the best bet and in the end I've got here a one terabyte SSD from SanDisk. This is one SSD that I can really vouch for. I've used it so many times and never really had problems with it. And basically there was a good offer online and it was really easy for me to lay my hands on this. That's the Toshiba PCP300, a one terabyte uh, hard drive as well. These are solid hardware and I believe that the customer should really have good value with this PC. You know, When I bought this PC, it was with an eight gigabyte uh, DDR3 RAM and the customer actually specified that I want something really uh, solid because I will be doing a lot of multitasking and I said okay in this case it will make a lot of sense an upgrade to a 16 gigabyte DDR3 RAM in which case you are pretty sure that you have a computer that can withstand a lot of tasks. Right here is an Intel Core i7-4770 3.4 gigahertz. Customer also wants that we go ahead and throw in a VLAN, a wireless LAN card which I also have and we're going to be putting that in. All this we're going to be putting in on this system. The PC is sold for 393 3 euros including shipping. This is pretty much new. That's new also. And for a Fujitsu Esprimo E720 on eBay including shipping, I really think that this is a good offer for the buyer. Hopefully this PC should be delivered and the customer should receive it and we should have really good feedback on this one. I share used computers on eBay and I make videos about them. Having said that, I'm going to go ahead and set this PC up. So that's the screws which I need for the hard drive. I only need two of them and with these screws, I'm going to be screwing the hard drive down to the PC. So all I need to do is to take the hard drive, take out the power on the SATA cable on the uh, DVD drive and then I'm going to give a gentle push of the hard drive until I'm able to get to where I would like it to be. With the screws I'm going to hold it in place. Second screw. There you go. That's the hard drive already screwed down. So what I need to do at this point is to go ahead and plug in the power cable as well as the SATA cable. Obviously I had to get an extra SATA cable because apparently the previous owner had used only one uh, hard drive and there was no need for a second but I've got a lot of these but these you can easily get online for a few cents uh, or a few euros perhaps. Okay, So that goes there and I'm going to look for how to make sure that it's properly uh, positioned so that the cables are not just flying around and hopefully that should be it. So just like I did with the hard drive I'm going to screw down the SSD as well. So guys, there you have it. Now we have the hard drive installed and the SSD already installed. So I'm going to go ahead and populate the uh, RAM slots with 16 gigabyte uh, DDR3 RAMs. I've got here Samsung, excellent quality. I'm going to go ahead and slot that in. That's one and that's uh, two, that's eight gigabytes and that's three. And that's the fourth one. So that's it. We've got 16 gigabytes and uh, that's the wireless LAN card. If you take a look, it has the full profile, but this is a small form factor PC and definitely there will be need for us to take this out. And luckily TP-Link has been so generous as to include the low profile brackets uh, with, with, with the packaging so that shouldn't be uh, a problem i've had situations where i got wireless LAN cards and it was only possible to install them on a full tower pc but this is very versatile it could either go with the full tower or the small form factor pc so taking this out shouldn't be a problem there are two screws holding the uh, full profile brackets so i'm going to take that out first of all and thereafter i'm going to align the uh, low profile brackets So there you have it and then that comes in just the same way you took out the uh, full profile brackets. Okay. So 
So go ahead and screw this in as well. So here you go. So at this point, I would like to use my two hands because uh, I've had situations where the PCIe slot was broken because I wasn't so careful. At this point, I will be needing a screw to be sure that this is properly sitting. So I have to put a screw there. And so I've got that right in. So what I typically do when I ship a, um, a PC with wireless LAN card is stored is that I typically leave the antennas in the packaging. Hopefully the buyer should receive this packaging as it is and shouldn't have a problem taking out the antennas and uh, screwing it behind the wireless LAN card. I've had situations in the past, not once, not twice, where I shipped a, a PC like this and before delivery, I don't know for one reason or the other, the antennas got broken. And as a matter of policy, I tend to just leave them in the packet. And if the customer would, for any reason or the other, would have a problem, he can easily reach out to me and I would just tell him, hey, bring out the antenna and screw it behind. So this is it. PC has been set up. We we'll have a one terabyte SSD, a one terabyte hard drive, and a wireless LAN card, including a 16 gigabyte DDR2. So if you are interested in this kind of content, do subscribe to the channel and Feel free to leave your comments. Until I see you again, peace.